Hey, players. So while Frumpy Dump has been scurrying about the country, making false allegations, decreeing and declaring that he's a victim, all while eating Big Macs and drinking Diet Coke and promising people pork chops that he didn't pay for, Fulton County, Georgia's district attorney, Phony Willis, has been building her case against him. And according to CNN, baby, she has evidence. I'm talking about text messages and emails linking Frumpy Dump's team to the Georgia voting system breach. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Let's talk about it. So as we know, Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is supposed to present her evidence to the grand jury next week on Frumpy Dump's election interference probe. The Frumpy Dump is pissed to the highest level of pissivity, and you know what he does when he's pissed, honey. He scurries his ass on over to Devil is a Lie Social, and according to reports, he also spreads ketchup all over the wall, but I digress. So over on Devil is a Lie Social and also in public, Frumpy Dump has alleged that Fonnie Willis was having an affair with a gang member. I declare, honey, what a disgrace. Now, according to uh, Funny Willis's office, they have chose not to respond to Frumpy Dump's antics and just continue with their investigation. And according to this exclusive by CNN, Georgia prosecutors have messages showing Frumpy Dump's team is behind the voting system breach in Coffee County. Oh, yes, 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 honey. They say they are in possession of text messages and emails directly connecting members of Frumpy Dump's legal team to the early January 2021 voting system breach in Coffee County. Now, several individuals involved in the voting system breach in Coffee County are already facing many charges in a sprawling criminal probe. Now, Frumpy Dump won in Coffee County by 70%, but prosecutors are alleging that Frumpy Dump's supporters attempted to access voting systems after the 2020 election as a part of a broader push to produce evidence that could back up Frumpy Dump's baseless claims of widespread fraud. So according to CNN, on January 1st of 2021, days ahead of the January 7th voting system breach, uh, Kelly Fritz, who was an attorney working with human skid Mark Giuliani and Sidney Powell and other Frumpy Dump allies, shared a written invitation to examine voting systems in Coffee County. Now, they were supposed to examine the systems in Coffee County with a group of Frumpy Dump allies, and that group included members of a law firm called Sullivan Strickler. Now, CNN has viewed the text messages that were shared between this group in which they were discussing uh, viewing the voting systems. Now, the messages and the documents appear to link human skid mark Giuliani to the Coffee County voting system breach. Now, of course, human skid mark Giuliani's attorneys have denied that he had anything to do with it, saying that you can't attach human skid mark Giuliani to Sidney Powell's crackpot idea. But in text messages viewed by CNN, an employee for Sullivan and Strickler, who was hired by Sidney Powell to examine the voting systems in Coffee County, wrote in a group chat that they had just landed back in D.C. with the mayor, meaning human skid mark Giuliani, saying that huge things starting are starting to come together. Also, CNN has obtained copies of text messages and emails with a top election official in Coffee County by the name of Misty Hampton. And she said during a state election board meeting that Dominion voting machine systems could very easily be manipulated to flip votes from one candidate to another. However, that claim has been repeatedly debunked. But Frumpy Dump's campaign officials took notice of her saying this and reached out to... Uh, Misty Hampton the same day that she made, made that claim. A Frumpy Dump campaign staffer emailed Misty Hampton saying that they would like to obtain as much information as possible. And in early December, Missy Hampton went on to delay the certification of President Biden's win in Georgia by refusing to validate the recount results by a key deadline. Coffee County was the only county in Georgia that failed to certify its election results due to its issues raised by uh, Missy Hampton at the time. So once again, while Frumpy Dump is making false allegations and decreeing and declaring that he's a victim, Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis and her team has been doing their job. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mother for the Black Accurate News.